Right. Johnny Depp has played everything from a pirate of the Caribbean to a man with scissors for hands. The famously private actor, <coughs> excuse me, sat down with me for a wide-ranging conversation. We began by talking about his new character, Tonto, in The Lone Ranger. He told me how he puts his own spin on that classic role. I just saw this guy as this kind of very, you know, interesting sort of warrior. And, in, and there was a, I, I saw a way in a, to, to tip the cliche of uh, the portrayal of Native Americans, you know. Uh, first and foremost was these people must be uh, respected, these uh, uh, Native Americans, these human beings need to be respected. They need uh, to be treated uh, with dignity. And, um, and then the entertainment sort of part came later. You know. But you remember watching Tonto as a child. Oh, yeah. I was a big fan. You know, I was a big fan. I loved it. But always, I mean, even at the ripe old age of five, six years old, I was always somewhat perturbed at the idea of Tonto being a sidekick. Take a look at this. Uh, this is Rolling Stone magazine, but there you yeah, are. There he is. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> and take a look at this. You know this photograph. Yeah, that was the inspiration. That was the inspiration. That was indeed the inspiration. I saw that. I was. I was immediately. I was struck by the, the lines going down his face because it appeared to me that as, as if the man had been cut into quarters. You know, and there, there were the various sections of the man: the personality, the rage, the damaged child, the this, the that. You know, so uh, you can see all that in the face. That's what I felt. You know, and then I thought, oh, that's great. The bird's on his head. Oh no, it's not on his head. You know, it's flying behind him. And I thought, well, it should be on his head, of course. You know. I, I think that even, you know, now, when presented with the image of Tonto, Disney were struck by them. The, I think that when we went into production and they saw what was go, you know, what I actually looked like, really, fully, I think that they were a little bit worried again. They had more doubts. And, um, yeah, and that's sort of, that, that's, were... the, that's the kind of stimulus, you know, I mean, it's, it's stimulating for me. I find, if, you know, if, if somebody's a little worried about what I'm doing, then I think I might be doing it. You must be doing something right. Must be doing it right. You know. <laughs> if they're not worried, you're worried. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> if, they, if I don't see some sort of panic or fear near me, uh, then, then I get worried. Yeah. Well, were you worried when you turned 50? No, you know, it, it was like, uh, I mean, it was just sort of wake up, it's another day, you know, and everybody makes a deal about, you know, the idea of, oh, 50, you know, half a century and stuff like that. It felt like 40 to me. It just felt like another decade, really, you know. I suppose the only thing at 50 you, you can really start to look forward to is just total irresponsibility. Irresponsibility or responsibility? Total, total irresponsibility, yeah. yeah. As you get older, you know, you can just sit in a chair, can't you? You can wear anything you want. You know, you can walk down. Old people dress cool, you know. Yeah, they, wear they do. Sweat pants, you know. The, the <laughs> elderly exactly. have it down. It, it, somebody once said to me, when I became 60, um, I used to care about what people thought of me. Mm. Now I only care about what I think of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, I, remember, I remember Marlon distinctly saying you know, he reached a certain point in his life where he just finally was able to utter the words, I just don't care. And the way he said it to me was, it was like a, you know, it, it was as if he attained nirvana. He worried a little bit about you working too hard. Yeah. He said, he said, he said, <laughs> he said what? He said, <laughs> He said, uh, how many films do you do a year? And I said, uh, I don't know, it depends, you know, maybe three. He said, too much. I said, what do you mean too much? He said, we only have so many faces in our pockets. You know, and I thought, you got it. it makes sense, man. I guess, yeah. you know, you run out of characters. Are you still learning about acting? Oh, I think you learn every time out of the gate. I think, that's the, I think that's the thrilling thing about the process is that every time you're out there and you give it a shot, you know, with a character that might make people a little nervous initially, especially people with wa their wallets involved, the process itself is, is a gas. Uh, uh, and you're out there trying to do something different each time because each, try, each time you try something different, you're stretching, you're stretching out a bit. I knew you'd warm up to me. <laughs> Commodore Norrings in my effects, please. What have kids meant for you? Kids? Your kids. My kids? Everything. What do you mean? Everything. They're, um, um, 
they've certainly made me grow up, that's for sure. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, well, they made me You mean grow take up. responsibility or? Um, well, no, just as, the, as, the, as they, you know, sort of progress throughout life, you know, and my son, my boy Jack, is now 11. Uh, my daughter, Lily Rose, is 14. You know, you start getting hit with some very interesting situations in life, you know, as a parent uh, when, when, they, when they approach that teenage arena, which is frightening because you still have memories of that age and the things that you might have been doing at that age. So, um, yeah, no, you can <laughs> And you lay awake thinking, God, I hope they don't do what I did. Oh, God, I don't, yeah, but please don't do what I did. Yeah, but I mean, really, you could explain and talk to them and, and you know, the split from their mother and, and having to come, which is always unpleasant regardless of what happens. Always, always. But they, I mean, the, my, my kids, um, and Vanessa, by the way, you know, and I mean, we'd arrived at a place as people do. When you have children, there's just no room for lies. There's no room for um, anything but the truth. It's not a, anything other than that is a bad example, I believe. Uh, so we were just very truthful with them, and they were incredibly understanding, incredibly accepting. I was um, extremely proud of them, you know, the way they dealt with it. Music, too. Yeah. <laughs> Music you know, is what you wanted to be. It was, it still is my life. Uh, it always was. Uh, it's just, I just don't do it for a living anymore, you know. It's my natural habitat, really, you know, is to, to have a guitar strapped to me. Yeah, but when you played, you, you didn't want to be the vocalist. You wanted to be the man be, in the shadows. I wanted to be, exactly. <laughs> when I was, you know, playing clubs at, you know, 15, 16, 17 years old, even then, I was, uh, you know, trying to stay out of the lights, <laughs> you know, try to stay in the darkness and, uh, and just play my guitar. Now, is any of that still part of who you are, the sense of? Most definitely. Really? The idea of being that lead singer, you know, of being the front man, to me, when you're in a, a group, a band, is, is, okay. is, is, is a, a, uh, so, so you'd rather be Keith than Mick? I'd rather be Keith than Mick, indeed, <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's what it boils down to. <laughs> No disrespect, man. Yeah. None, none whatsoever. <laughs> exactly. None whatsoever. It, it, be a good vocalist is fine with me. I just it's want to be back there. Great. I can't do that. <laughs> Don't want to. Yeah. So look ahead at 50 to what you, where the priorities are. What are they? I think, uh, you know, n now in this, you know, if, uh, 50, let's say, you know, the start, of, the start of a new decade, I think, you know, the goals are maybe slightly more selfish in a sense. Not selfish, but that search for a little more freedom here and there, a little, maybe a little less, a uh, little less work, a little more time with the kids, you know, a little more freedom, a little more time off. Just more to, space. More space, more ability to, yeah, breathe and not, you know, have to be the novelty. <laughs>